With big cities, iconic small towns, picturesque mountains and a spot on the Atlantic Ocean, Georgia has a lot more to offer than its peaches. To help you decide which Georgia spots are most worth your time and vacation dollars, we took into account the variety and uniqueness of attractions, availability of accommodations and opinions of everyday travellers to decide the best places to visit in Georgia. In this video, we've selected the top 15 best places to visit in Georgia. And just wait till you see some of the fantastic places there are to visit. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel Trip Extreme for more awesome top 15s or 10s and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. Let's cut to that chase. Number 15. Marietta Get a dose of Georgia history during a trip to Marietta. This city, which sits about 20 miles northwest of Atlanta, boasts five National Register historic districts, plus a historic town square that you can explore on your own or via a narrated trolley tour. Must-see attractions include the William Root House Museum and Garden, the Marietta Gone with the Wind Museum, and Kensaw Mountain National Battlefield Park. No trip would be complete without catching a show at the beautifully restored Earl and Rachel Smith Strand Theatre. At 14, Tallulah Gorge State Park. For a look at jaw-dropping natural wonders, venture to Tallulah Gorge State Park. Located just west of the Georgia-South Carolina border in the northern part of the state, the park is home to Tallulah Gorge, which measures two miles long and nearly 1,000 feet deep. Visitors can get a bird's eye view of the gorge from its rim or obtain a free permit to see it from its floor. Tallulah Gorge State Park also features a suspension bridge that provides fantastic views of the park's five waterfalls, plus more than 20 miles of hiking and bike trails. At 13, Helen. If you want to feel like you're in Europe without leaving the US, consider taking a trip to Helen. This small northeastern Georgia town and not someone's auntie is modeled after a Bavarian Alpine village, so you can expect to find lots of colorful architecture, authentic German cuisine and fun renditions of German festivals like an annual Oktoberfest celebration. Mmm, beer. But beyond its charming atmosphere, Helen offers all kinds of amenities, including more than 200 stores and a winery, plus proximity to Unicol State Park and Lodges Lake and hiking and bike trails. Next up at number 12, St. Simon's Island. With its sandy beaches and laid-back lifestyle, the Golden Isle's largest island invites travelers to slow down and relax. Visitors can head to East Beach to enjoy activities like shelling and fishing or make their way to one of the island's golf courses to practice their swing. Plus, St. Simons offers more than 20 miles of bike paths, many of which lead to can't-miss attractions like the World War II Homefront Museum. While exploring, keep an eye out for tree spirits. These faces were carved into the island's oak trees in the 80s by American artist Keith Jennings. At 11, Macon. Head to this central Georgia city to enjoy a variety of attractions. Macon must-dos include visiting Amalgie Mounds National Historical Park, a prehistoric Native American site, the Tubman Museum, one of the country's largest museums dedicated to African American history, art and culture, and Amazon River Park, where you can hike, kayak or float in a tube, as you do. The city also features deep musical roots thanks to its ties to the southern rock and soul music genres. To get an overview of Macon's music history, check out the Allman Brothers Band Museum at the Big House and Mercer Music at Capricorn. Now at number 10, Arabia Mountain. Featuring three lakes and more than 2,000 acres, Arabia Mountain offers plenty of opportunities for adventure close to Atlanta. Visitors can hike through the Davidson Arabia Mountain Nature Preserve or walk or bike the Arabia Mountain Path. The latter also boasts 60 geocaches for travelers to find. For those who enjoy fishing, there are numerous waterways ideal for casting that line. But remember, fishing here requires purchasing a Georgia fishing license or else you'll be in deep trouble. Next at number 9, Tybee Island. Situated less than 20 miles southeast of Savannah, this small barrier island has been a popular family vacation destination for more than a century. Tybee Island's miles of sandy beaches and relatively warm weather most of the year make it a prime spot for swimming, surfing and sunbathing. Additionally, travellers can spend a few hours looking for the island's 200-plus bird species. 
other Taibi must-dos include climbing up the Taibi Island Light Station, the oldest and tallest lighthouse in Georgia, and participating in educational programs at the Taibi Island Marine Science Center. Then at number 8, Jekyll Island. The southernmost of the Golden Isles, Jekyll Island beckons to travelers seeking a quiet beach getaway. The entire island is designated as a Georgia State Park, meaning conservation and wildlife preservation are top priorities. Visitors can see sea turtles, alligators and other coastal animals at the Georgia Sea Turtle Center and the 4-H Tidelands Nature Center, lounge on 10 miles of pristine beaches or meander through the historic district, also known as Millionaire's Village, to see homes that have belonged to some of America's richest families, including the Vanderbilts, the Rockefellers and the Pulitzers. At number 7, Dahlonega. Georgia might not come to mind when you think of wine destinations, but Dahlonega is worth consideration. This northern town is often labelled the heart of Georgia wine country thanks to its 12 wine tasting rooms, 5 wineries and locally owned and operated vineyards. For a festive atmosphere during your vacation, arrive in May when the annual Dahlonega Arts and Wine Festival takes place. Dahlonega is also where America's first gold rush occurred, so be sure to save time for a visit to the Dahlonega Gold Museum State Historic Site and a former mine. And look for something gold and shiny on the floor. At number 6, Callaway Gardens. A trip to Callaway Gardens is all about reconnecting with nature. Nestled in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in the small town of Pine Mountain, Callaway Gardens features 2,500 acres of gardens a butterfly centre with a thousand plus butterflies and more than 10 miles of bike and nature trails, among other amenities. Additionally, visitors can head to Robin Lake Beach to swim, kayak, paddleboard or simply soak up some sun during the warmer months. Families can also take advantage of the beach's inflatable water playground called Aqua Island, surprisingly. Number 5. Cumberland Island The largest and southernmost of Georgia's barrier islands Cumberland Island offers both a rich history and a beautiful landscape. You'll have to catch a ferry from nearby St Mary's to get here, but the journey is well worth the effort. When you arrive, you'll discover nearly 10,000 acres of protected wilderness and 17 plus miles of secluded beaches. Cumberland Island also features multiple historical sites, such as the Plum Orchard Mansion, the First African Baptist Church, and the Dungeness Ruins that tell the story of the Carnegie family, enslaved African Americans, Native Americans and others who once lived on the island. At 4. Atlanta Georgia's capital city wears many hats and goes by many nicknames. ATL, Hotlanta and A-Town, just to name a few. The Empire City of the South is a hub for business. Coca-Cola, CNN and Delta are all headquartered here. And music. Rappers have long made ATL their home, as well as a family-friendly destination with world-renowned sites like the Georgia Aquarium and Legoland Discovery Center Atlanta. The city also houses several impressive historical attractions, including the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park. What's more, this major metropolis is still quintessentially southern, with the friendliness and manners to match. And now into the top three, at three, Athens. History buffs should make a beeline to Athens. The city marks the starting point of Georgia's Antebellum Trail, which highlights Civil War-era homes and period architecture in its 17 historic districts. The University of Georgia, the country's first public institution of higher education, is also worth visiting, as it is home to the Georgia Museum of Natural History, the State Botanical Garden of Georgia and the Georgia Museum of Art. For a more modern getaway, check out downtown Athens' shops, restaurants and live music venues. And at number 2, Golden Isles. These barrier islands and port town along the Atlantic coast get their name from the golden sand beaches that dot the Georgia coastline. The region's larger islands feature all of the amenities out-of-towners could want, while Brunswick serves as a mainland town complete with a wharf and plenty of shrimp boats. Small islands like Little St. Simons and Sea Island offer private, world-class resorts. No matter which island you choose, don't forget to snap a photo of the stunning sunsets over the ocean's horizon. And finally, number one, Savannah. The charm of Savannah is undeniable. 
from the remnants of its antebellum past in the historic landmark district to the romantic Spanish moss-lined streets and iconic fountain in Forsyth Park to the shops, eateries and party-hard reputation of River Street, Savannah encompasses what the state of Georgia is all about. Giving a nod to the past while bringing its own personality into the present, Plus, the city offers a heavy dose of laid-back southern hospitality to match, earning it its hostess city of the south nickname. And there it is, the 15 best places to visit in Georgia. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments right below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Trip Extreme for more fantastic top 15 or top 10 lists. So, see you next time.